What is up? Hey, welcome to Agent Marketing Mania every single Tuesday live. I'm Cody Askins. Rance Gardner. Every Tuesday, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time, we bring you something about marketing, something to improve what you're doing to get in front of customers, to recruit, to build your agency, to build your business, to build your brand, to be a freaking staple in your empire, your local market, whatever you're doing, today's going to be good. Yep. What are we talking about today? We're talking about creating your own content. We're going to talk about getting people's attention in multiple different ways. I like that. And that's what marketing is all about. That's what most people struggle with. Yep. Why do they think that you have to hire this huge company to create content? I think it's just going to get overwhelmed. They get my, you know, they get overwhelmed. They don't know where to go. They don't know where yeah, to start. So busy. hopefully, yeah, exactly. It could be busy. Hopefully today will help them, you know, that you can get started. You know, yeah. you can start going down the path of making a name for yourself. And, 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 I, and I'm mentioning something random off the cuff live on video, but we have people all the time, and I may talk about random, we may talk about this out later. We get people all the time, they're like, hey, I don't have time to create my own content. They think we should create some content, throw it up in the members area so that they can use it locally on their social media pages and stuff, which isn't a bad idea. Right. We'll have to discuss that. But again, it comes back to creating their own content. Some people don't know how. They don't have time. They don't. They don't have the software. They don't have the expensive equipment. All the stuff that you have here. Yeah. But they can do it. Yeah. Anyone can do it. Right. You can write an article, and that's yeah. that's that's content. I mean, you can text. Exactly. You can text. If you can email. You can email. If you can get on a computer with a keyboard, you yeah. can. You know, if you can write an article talking about a policy you like, a company you like. Just, you know, burial insurance, yeah. you know, final expense. You can talk about uh, annuities or mortgage protection, right. anything. Just just writing a simple article that can be shared on either a blog you have, your own yeah. social media, a blog that talks about insurance that, you know, might not be some huge blog that allows users to submit posts. Yeah. Submit an article you wrote. It doesn't have to be long. Two paragraphs. Sure. That's that's kind of passive marketing, telling people, like, why, why it's so great to have burial insurance. For your family, and yeah. if you're an insurance agent, you know the answers to those questions. Easy, and, and you, can, you and ought to exactly, and you can come up with something. So just writing an article and getting it out to you know, there's multiple places to put it there. That's a great yeah. way that anybody yeah. can do. I'm, you know, I feel confident that anybody could probably do that. You could do it, and yeah. you're just learning insurance, right? But the key is you're good at marketing. You create a lot of our content, our, our shows. Our videos, our in, our commercials, our intros, our outros. You stream everything live. You can't produce it today, obviously, because you're sitting here doing it with me. Right. But when you're not live with here with me, and have other people producing the show, you're there doing it all, or managing yep. it all, or overseeing it. Right. Or making sure that content gets out on our social media, that we get emails out, videos. I would say, you know what? Uh, there's what's funny is. And, and this may not be like the most ethical thing in the world. It just, it may not be. And, and there's some, there's like, you know, copyright and all this crazy stuff. But right. when I'm thinking about content, if it's the weekend and you're not here or the rest of our marketing team isn't here and I'm like, hey, I need to get something out and to do something, I need to find something. Sometimes I can look on Google Images and say, hey, great graphics about life insurance. And I get a hundred different options. Right. And some of them won't care if I use it. Right. And there's even new tools. I mean, on search options on Google now, there's a drop-down menu where you can actually select um, labeled for reuse. So it's oh, it's wow. non copyright See, I'm learning something. I don't, have to, I don't have to steal anymore. And that's another way. Talking about creating content. You know, images are a big deal on social media. Everybody yeah. sees text, and you get lost in the sea of words, as, as I say, That's as true. you're going through text. So if you can break up that sea of words with a cool image that grabs yeah. their attention, you know, a, a video, whatever it is, you know, that's content right there. If you can 100%. make a meme, everybody's got memes these days. Yep. So you can make a meme, you know, that talks about your insurance, and that's not hard at all. Just get an image off of Google using the uh, drop-down menu to where right. it's not copyrighted. Right. You know, go into Microsoft Paint or a better program if you're familiar with it's it. It's easy, though. Drop some text over the, the image, and yeah. you've got your own meme now. Right. And I haven't seen insurance memes, so, the, hey, be the first. Not and, a lot of them. Yeah. 
I I've seen very few. Yeah, I haven't seen any. So if there, there's probably very few if there are any. Right. So do something like that. You could be the first, uh, you know, in your area or your community to yeah. post, you know, insurance memes and get right. people's attention that way. Well, that's the thing. I mean, if, if you think about it, like you just said, Facebook and that sea of words, and, and it's always people. It's which is which is probably why Facebook came up with a way to put your text on a background just to just change exactly. it out, just exactly. to change it up. That's exactly. Because what did it. I see paragraphs and stories and sometimes too much information, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And those 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 neat looking creative pictures with text or those videos, whether it's just a video or videos with text, those things grab my attention more than you writing on your Facebook page, hey I sell life insurance right. and, and, and hope you see this. Totally. Totally. They, they just work better. Yep. When I can do a video and say, hey what are the top 10 top 10 life insurance companies in the nation right now yeah. you know and make it up it don't matter right but but or, or, or and be creative with it or you know or, or, or top 10 recipes that my life insurance clients love you're not spewing insurance at them right. they may like a recipe but the fact that you talked about insurance or they know you for insurance I used to do newsletters to all my clients back when I was an agent every day in the field. And it got to where it was a lot. You know, I'd have 500 clients and I'd have to, I'd have to write newsletters to them all every month. Mm -hmm. But it was something, they knew it was from the insurance guy, but it was just like a random trivia question for a chance to win some money, a gift card. It was recipes. It was pictures. It was links to videos. That stuff that isn't to where you're coming across as... It, it was that 5% insurance and 95%, hey, I'm a fun, loving, cool exactly. dude. Exactly. That's where a lot of people, they try to market on social media. They try to create their own content. It ends up that they put 90%, 95% about their business. Yep. When in reality, people like us, if we see something and we've got the, uh, we've got the local plumber and he puts up 95% about plumbing, I'm going to eventually tune him out exactly. psychologically, yep. visually, mentally, whether I believe it or not. Exactly. I 100% I agree with that. That's that's completely correct. I think that, you know, you've got to have things within your content that may, yeah. that people are passionate about outside of your industry. Right. You know, and right. that can be anything. You know, it can be fishing. It can be food. It can be working on cars. It can be, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. Um, it can be any of that stuff and, and just slipping in subtly, you know, a little yes, bit about insurance, yes. a little bit about, you know, whatever it could be related to insurance. Subtly is a good word because eventually you were going to tune them out. Speaking of tuning out, we don't want you to tune us out. Not yet. Watch this short commercial. Rance built it. The team's over there producing it. We love being live with you. We'll be right back. Stick around for part two. up hey welcome back for part two of agent marketing mania every tuesday live with you at three rance gardner cody askins courage with you hey we have a blast today's about creating your own content being a content driven business and marketing is becoming a content driven totally deal nowadays i mean but how easy is it for you to i mean we're live right now but how easy is it for you to turn the camera on you not live and say, hey, I love what I do. I'm passionate about it, which is why, you know, I'm, I'm going to do a weekly trivia question. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to give them a free life insurance policy, you know, or a free right. Medicare policy. You right. can't do that. But you can give a, you know, fifty dollar gift card to a local restaurant from the insurance guy. Get people thinking about you. Whatever. People participating. Yeah, people participating. There's people that do that several the time. But how easy is it to talk to a video? People are scared of it. Or to get on there and create memes, pictures, and text, and all that—it ain't hard. Right. It, just do it. 
Yeah, and it's kind of like, you know, I've heard you guys say before on your Tycoon show that, you know, yeah. record yourself. It's yes. just practice. Yes. You know, if you record yourself on a video, eventually you're going to get the hang of it. It's not yeah. going to be, you know, daunting. Right. It'll be just there for you to talk to the people that you're trying to get in touch with, you know, directly. And that's just as good as, you know, sending them a bunch of different right. videos or whatever from other people. You know, might as well introduce yourself. Exactly. And if you think you're no good or if you hate video, you can do it by yourself. You can take 10 takes exactly. of the same video. Exactly. And the last one will be really good. No one will have no clue how many times you shot that video. Nobody. They don't realize that I wasn't always the best on video 20 months ago. But now that I've done 350 on our YouTube channel now, I feel like I'm comfortable on video now. Right. Even enough comfortable enough to go live every single day. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Multiple times a day sometimes. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they have no clue how many times you shot that video. It could have been 100 takes. Maybe you're just awful at video. But it, it, it's just all about putting your name out there. Creating, well, what's the easiest way? Or if there's one piece of content that you can create that's easy for someone to do, what's the easiest type of content for someone to do? And what's the easiest way to do that easiest type of content? I would say the easiest type of content would almost be sharing someone else's. Ooh. So, you know, you can create your own. And I mentioned probably writing a short article if you're, yeah. if you're doing it yourself. Yeah. Writing a short article, creating a quick meme, yep. that's going to be the, the easiest way to share your own content. Yeah. Um, or, you know, with Facebook Live. You know, if you can yeah. go Facebook Live, that kind of cuts out the editing. Also, you you know, you don't have the chance to take 10 takes. That's true. But it's going to be if the... If you do, they'll know it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, if you feel confident to come on for a minute and yeah. talk, talk about something, like, right. you know, a new policy or a new uh, a new change a company's made to something. Right, right, right. right, or, right. or whatever it is. That's a good idea. Some updates. Um, you, you could share somebody else's. That's the easiest way. And what I mean by that is going out and finding some, you know, some interesting articles. You can find insurance pages exactly. that drop insurance-related content every day. Yeah. Go repurpose it, give them credit, or just share it. Right. And, and, and write a quick deal about it. Yep. And, and that's easy. I mean, yep. but at the end of the day, it, you're putting yourself out there. You're either creating your own content, you're repurposing, rebranding, maybe not stealing since we're live on camera, but at least you're in it and find or find things that work. Yeah. Or that are really good that you like and then change it a little bit. Yeah. And then you're not stealing. Right. I mean, it's like, it's not plagiarism if you change a few words, right? I mean, right. The, uh, yeah, the, the main thing is just giving your audience, giving your customer base, your potential customer base, something outside of whatever it is you're selling. Yeah. So if you can if you can figure that balance out uh, between bringing them... It's a and, tough balance. It is a tough balance. Um, but if you can find the balance between bringing someone that is bringing something that is valuable to someone, yeah. whether it's in the form of a recipe like you mentioned. Yeah. Or if it's in the form of a, a new way to train your dog to do this certain trick. Yeah. It's anything like that. And then you also can slide in your, your your pitch, part of your pitch, slide in, you know, a benefit of why right. you should consider, you know, burial insurance or why you should consider yeah. this new company that's offering this new change to a policy that might benefit you. Exactly. Or every Friday you're, you're, you're releasing a super funny video that you found on the internet Yeah. that your customers are going to just laugh at. It. Exactly. It's, you call it funny Friday. Bringing value. Bringing value into the weekend. Yep. Incredible funny video that you're going to share and it's got to be good. They may look forward to you dropping a super freaking hilarious video every Friday. Yeah. Before you know it, they're thinking about you. Exactly. Every week. Expecting it. Multiple times a week, expecting it. The problem is most people aren't consistent. Yeah. It took me a while to realize that even if you are doing content, if you're not doing it consistently, it's a crowded world, a crazy world, they will forget about you. Oh, yeah. Now we've got so consistent, we're doing live shows every day, doing emails to our subscribers every day, yep. dropping content, putting stuff in our group every day. It can be weekly, it yep. can be monthly, it can be daily, it can be hourly. Just and, and that that's hard to be consistent with something hourly. Yeah. But at least, but 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 the key is to be consistent. Yeah, be consistent and try to be different. It's yes, a, it's the best I, I like advice that. I can I like get that. because 
you know, like we mentioned about the words, just the seal words you see on social media and all these other things, seal words yeah. in an email. Yeah, that's why we try to switch up our emails. Yep. You know, have them, whether it's a funny GIF or an interesting attention-grabbing picture. And or, you do some good emails. We've been getting a lot of compliments over this last week on our emails. That's good. Good to hear. Yeah, I mean, we, we were doing the telemarketing lead special, final expense yep. leads for under $10. I mean, we had a lot of people that they were like, these emails are awesome. Yeah. They're hilarious. I love them. Which brings us to fan mail. We have an awesome show. We have a blast. I love Agent Marketing Mania because it brings a different value to you right. away from all, other, all the other things that we do because at the end of the day, you need to be a marketer and a salesperson. Absolutely. So we've got, we've got Tom in Virginia that says, hey, I do no content. I, I bring no value <laughs> ever. <laughs> What's the one thing I can do to just start doing something? I would say, you know, just kind of reiterating what we've already talked about. I would say, you know, get on Facebook Live. Yeah. Get on, you know, start writing a couple articles. Make sure yeah. to sit down and give 20 minutes a week. You, right. can, you can write a couple paragraphs twice a week. Yes. And start telling people why they need the service. Why they need you. Why the benefits, how it would help their families. What maybe some cases that you've heard about? Right. You know, you if you if you're out there talking to agents, and or sorry, if you're an agent, and you're out there talking to people. Yeah. They're gonna tell you stories. They're gonna contact you. They're gonna. That's good. So you could tell them, you know, basically stories of things where they had this happen to them. Things that you were able, and, and even things that you were able to do exactly that to help them. clients. Exactly. They may find themselves in a similar situation that may resonate with them. Exactly. They will make you feel like more of the expert. Right. At the end of the day, I, to reiterate or to add to your answer to that fan mail, find the one thing that you will actually do that you're comfortable doing, that you can be consistent with, and just do it. Yep, just start. Exactly. Just, just start. freaking start. Agent Marketing Mania. Every single Tuesday, I love it. We're live with you, three o'clock. Rance Gardner, Cody Askins, Secure Agent Mentor, SecureAgentMentor.com. If you want marketing examples, go to our website. Contact Rance at the office. Look at all the stuff that we do, and use it as an example in your business. We appreciate you guys. Wish you an incredible week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Tuesday.